Good morning, friends. I'm glad to be with you in prayer this day. It's a blessing in my life. Today, as we gather together, I'm going to offer a prayer about our nation. I'm again going to rely upon a prayer uh, as adapted from the U.S. Air Force Chaplain Corps Book of Prayers, as I did yesterday. It's also an inspiring prayer, but first I want to begin with a uh, quotation from President Woodrow Wilson. The flag of the United States has not been created by rhetorical sentences in declarations of independence and in bills of rights. It has been created by the experience of a great people, and nothing is written upon it that has not been written by their life. It is the embodiment, not of a sentiment, but of a history. Let's pray together. God of our weary and silent tears, you have brought us this far on our way, and we give you thanks for life, health, and strength. We thank you for giving us this land and our heritage. Forgive us for the times we've thought only of ourselves and transgressed against ourselves, neighbors, and you. Have mercy upon us. Bless the leadership of our nation at every level. Grant them the wisdom and courage to move our nation in a manner that will result in a productive economy, sound learning, and a sensitive response to the needs of our populace. Grant us the wisdom and courage to always prove ourselves a people mindful of your favor and glad to do your will. Help us to rise above the human tendencies that oppress us and encourage oppression of others. Empower us to be truly become one nation under God indivisible with liberty and justice for all. It's in your name that we pray. Amen. Our reading for today comes from the book of Deuteronomy, from the fourth chapter, verses five through nine. See, just as the Lord my God has charged me, I now teach you statutes and ordinances for you to observe in the land that you are about to enter and occupy. You must observe them diligently, for this will show your wisdom and discernment to the peoples who, when they hear all these statutes, will say, Surely this great nation is a wise and discerning people. For what other great nation has a God so near to it as the Lord our God is whenever we call to him? And what other great nation has statutes and ordinances as just as this entire law that I am setting before you today? But take care and watch yourselves closely, so as neither to forget the things that your eyes have seen, nor to let them slip from your mind all the days of your life. Make them known to your children and your children's children. Friends, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God, and God bless the United States of America.